I feel like everyone else in this country today, utterly devastated. Our thoughts and prayers are with Princess Diana's family, in particular her two sons, the two boys. Our hearts go out to them. We are today a nation in Britain in a state of shock, in mourning, in grief that is so deeply painful for us. She was a wonderful and a warm human being, though her own life was often sadly touched by tragedy. She touched the lives of so many others in Britain throughout the world with joy and with comfort. How many times shall we remember her in how many different ways? With the sick, the dying, with children, with the needy. When with just a look or a gesture that spoke so much more than words, she would reveal to all of us the depth of her compassion and her humanity. You know how, how difficult things were for her from time to time. I'm sure we can only guess at, but the people everywhere, not just here in Britain, everywhere, they kept faith with Princess Diana. They liked her, they loved her. They regarded her as one of the people. She was the people's princess. And that's how she will stay, how she will remain in our hearts and in our memories forever. Che è difficile realizzare una regolamentazione del genere perché cambia di paese in paese a livello mondiale. La legge dovrebbe essere una legge fatta uguale che vale sia a Parigi, sia a Roma, sia a New York, sia in Sud America o in Sud Africa. E cambia anche direttamente sul personaggio perché entra in gioco il diritto di cronaca e perché si sta seguendo quel personaggio, perché è di dominio pubblico, perché interessa alla stampa. Io direi che è irregolabile una questione del genere, finché l'opinione pubblica compra i giornali e vuol vedere queste immagini e questo ne dà atto la, la vendita delle, delle tirature dei giornali scandalistici, esisterà sempre.